Hey everyone, how's it going? This will be a fall cleanup, October 3rd, uh, 2020, uh, day one. So we got a Simplicity um, dehumidifier, pretty nice shape. A uh, Garrison window air conditioner, uh, 5250 BTUs. Uh, I've already actually fixed it. Someone pulled the plug too much and it pulled the, the connector off the capacitor inside, put it on, runs great. So that's, that's awesome. And it's even got a digital display, so that's sweet. Um, another dehumidifier, a Honeywell one. A little nicer than the other one, digital display and everything. An RCA XL100 TV, no idea if it works. The only reason I picked it up is because I've got an Atari 2600 Junior and um, it likes these old TVs. Got a Weller uh, soldering iron with a couple bits and the wrench. I've already plugged it in. It does work. It's a really nice shape. A Baby Bird um, hair dryer. I've never seen one quite this tiny. But yeah, don't know if it works. A uh, printer. I think I've got it backwards. A Page Pro 1400W. Not much to see on it, and its power supply. A uh, a Sony CFD20 CD radio cassette quarter. Uh, this thing's like loaded. It's in pretty nice shape too. Nothing in it though. And haven't tried it, don't know if it works. Hopefully it does. I uh, got a Mega Catch Mosquito Trap. I've had one or two of these things, not this particular brand or model in the past. There's usually not much to them. Unless the power supply runs it and a shit ton of cable. Got a Wen Wheel um, a, a, like a knife sharpening machine. Cord's been cut on it, so I don't know if it runs. Switch is a little stuck. Kind of. Well, actually, maybe. Actually, not too bad. Got a uh, Anoma light. It's got a battery part in the back, but it's also. It's also got the. Uh, the wine charger thing on it. It's, it's even got a DC 12 volt charger jack on it. Different, interesting. So it must have. Let me take the back off. See, it's got your it's got your standard three AAA uh, battery uh, holder here. But I wonder if it's also got a built-in rechargeable thing, a rechargeable battery. But it doesn't. It must be dead. It must be like a nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydrate rechargeable, and it must just be dead. So, yeah, I'll have to open that and take a look, see what I can do with it. A sharp 12 volt cordless dustbuster and a uh, a Dirt Devil Express V6, a V6 volt with the charger. That one. A couple of Lab Tech computer speakers, not uh, powered ones, so it's only got the uh, jack on it. Got a Microsoft keyboard in pretty damn nice shape. Just standard, but I mean, these things never fail. And what's weird about this one? It's got both connections on it. PS2 and USB. I've never seen a keyboard that had both connections on it. If anyone wondering exactly which one it is. You can read that. Microsoft Internet Keyboard Pro. Made in Thailand. Yeah. So, should work. I've seen a reason why it wouldn't. Got a um, heater. Never heard of the brand before, but um, yeah. 
can see the elements in there zigzagging back and forth. Don't know if it works. I'll have to give it a try. Conair um, bubble massager. I've never really picked one up, but I know they've got an air pump built into them, so I may tear it apart. I don't know yet. At least I want to see what it, how it works on the inside, how it's built. Got a Tostis blender, no top on it. One thing I did notice, there's something seriously wrong with this. Yeah, that something seriously has happened to the bearings in that. That should not wobble like that. Motor turns free, so they probably tossed it just because of that. Got a Power Juicer Prestige. Can't read who it's from, but it's all there. It's a really big one. And then a Sunbeam Oyster. This one's got all kinds of attachments. Beckett fountain pump and uh, I have looked in the box it is what's on the box don't know if it works though but uh, it looks like it's pretty good shape this is kind of cool I actually had this running discovery kids it's like a whirlpool maker like if you pull the plug on your uh, sink or or drain or when you flush a toilet the water spirals down well this runs a motor, you fill this to the top with water or whatever, and you turn it on. No batteries in it, but it won't go. Speed control. And you turn it on, and it will make a whirlpool down to the bottom. It'll be really cool. It doesn't have any LED in it, which is really unfortunate. It's got a really annoying whirlpool noise sound, which is awful. But I might take this plastic piece off, drill through the plastic, the white plastic underneath, mount in, like a blue LED in it or something, and put this back together. That'd be friggin' sick. Some of you might know this game. The game of sorry. The game of sweet revenge. I played this a lot growing up with my family. It's a fun game. It still is. Let's see if the Let's see how well the the actual playing board is it has a little wear on the in the mill, but as for the rest of it, it's actually um, pretty nice. Yeah. I got a, a goon, another stupid Chinese brand fan. This has been partially destroyed. If I can't fix this. I might just do another overpowered tower fan video with like a vacuum motor or something. I don't know. Got a Shark Navigator vacuum. Really nice shape. I have tried this. The, the suction does run, but the power head does not. So there's something either wrong with the switch or something wrong down in here. So I'll have to look at that. Got a Bissell Easy Vac. Not a wet vac, but this is just for a carpet and bare floor. Looks like it's all there. Got a Dirt Devil Trilight. Just a little little vacuum. And a couple Swiffers. You, some of you guys are always asking where I'm getting all my motors and shit from. Well, I'm, I get them out of this junk. And that's where I get them from. Plus, I get them out of hair dryers and just... Anything that runs on like batteries or even 120 volts, it's not that hard to get. Like this for example, this has got a 12 volt DC motor in it. I've never actually had one of these before. This is one of those um, spinning lights that you see on top of like emergency vehicles and whatnot. I don't know if they're this big, this one seems really big. The lights work, but the, the spinning mechanism is busted inside. I've had it apart when I first got it, but yeah, and even, you can't even really see the tag anymore either. Got another Sunbeam Mixmaster. 
definitely a three speed, but pretty clean. Super fan. Uh, that's a 12 inch one. Screw trace, you can never have enough of these guys. A uh, big Hayward pool pump. Uh, pool pump. Pool pump. That's a new one. Don't know if it works. The cord's been cut. I don't even know if it's if it's 120 or 240 volts, but it's probably 120. And um, part of a furnace assembly, a little blower, and I kind of forgot two things. There's two fans there, just generic comfort zone in the black one, not too special. So yeah, that's um, that would be. The first day of fall cleanup of 2020. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, um, I guess hit that like button if you uh, like this uh, cleanup video. And um, let me know what you guys think is the coolest thing I got. Leave something in the comments if you want. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone.